Oops, oh, I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> well, as you can plainly see, I've taken it out of the box just to make it a bit easier for myself. I've also, uh, can you see that? Yeah. So what I've also done is taken the power. Um, I've put the power into the board on here just before the, the two capacitors so that it gets the benefit of them as well. Um, but I've put a little switch here. So I've got a little switch with a um, green LED just to let me know that it's working. So I can switch like on and off. It won't work yet because it's the stuff's not plugged in. Um, what I've also done as well is I've updated the code uh, for the Arduino so that pin 13 will light up an LED if the voltage drops below 3.2 volts. So just before it's going to sort of alert, it should light up the LED, um, which I plan to basically drill a little hole in the case and put it in the case. While I was getting it out, though, I did notice that I'm going to have problems because I was worried about getting this little bit, uh, this little PCB in here. But I've also got to get the battery. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to fit. Because I had thought of um, keeping the... Oh, hang on, before I carry on, let me put that on there so I don't lose it. So, yeah, I had thought of keeping the uh, uh, barrel jack connector and using that as the source for the charging. Because I can always, like, whatever goes in there up to... I can't remember. I think it's at least 12 volts you can put in here. So, but that would go through the um, oh, L7805. And basically the output of that would go to the input here. So then I'd, but I would have to then disconnect the power, etc. But yeah, it, it is possible. But I'm thinking it might be best just to remove all this altogether so then i would get the space to put this because i'm thinking that this could then go along here and then there should be enough room for the battery to sit hang on so the battery inside the case would basically <laughs> too short <laughs> oh the battery would sit um like about there because all this wouldn't be there, so it would sit there, but it would sit inside the case. So a little dab of glue would keep that in place. Um, but yeah, so let's see if this works first. So I need to put a cable. So let's do this one. So this end is going to go in there. And this one needs to go on pin 13. So let's get, let's, put, let's do, oh, let's just tin the end of that. It's too, got the mice everywhere. Yeah, computer mice, not real mice. All right. So which one's, I know pin 13, I think it's the, yeah, so it goes on that way. So then pin 13 goes up to this end one. So let's turn it over. So it's this, <laughs> so I don't do the wrong one. So I think what I'll do is I'll poke it through and then bend it over. Oh, I shouldn't have, oh, I can't do that now, can I? Trying to tinned it first. Although saying that, is that I don't think that's going to fit. No. Okay. So I'll just put it on here for now. It's only temporary. We can tidy it up later. Just put this on here. Oops. Yep, good. Right, so this one needs to go to the... Oh, 
the what do you call it um amber led let's see all that so that should come on when it gets to 3.2 volts yeah, i should really move all this out of the way right so let's put the temperature sensor back in and then oh i need to update this there's me usb cable yes let's plug that in um section here just the voltage measurement pin um and i've updated it to 15 seconds so um should note though as well so it's been running for when did I start yesterday morning? So it's probably been running now for over 24 hours and it's only actually dropped by 0.1.5 of a volt, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's the other Arduino. It's not this one. Right, so this one is the one that... Right, so this one's got to go back. Right, so the switch is turned off. So if I plug this back in... Plug that back in now... Let's plug the screen back in so we can see. Because I've also updated the uh, the screen output. Yeah, and you didn't see any of that, did you? All right, let's go back to it. So well, I've just decided. So the screen output here. So it should be outputting the voltage, the the current voltage on the LCD screen as well. So let's switch back. Oh. Now I need to do that. There we go. Right. So let me see. Right. So the output voltage currently, you probably can't see it. It's uh, 3.9 volts is the current output from here, which is on the scope. Right. So let's turn it on. And nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? Oh, hang on. Let me turn. I need to put that in there. Why is nothing happening? Let me pull that out. Is the voltage too low? No, it's 3.7. Maybe the Arduino needs more power. Yeah, that needs to be in there, otherwise it's not going to be monitoring anything. Right, so this is the monitoring script. So let's uh, let's just compile because uh, I think I got a bit confused earlier about which one I was updating. So let's do this one. So right, so it says test has started. So if I pull this, I think that's right. <laughs> yeah, I need to get another one out. I had to repurpose the one that I was using, so I'm going to have to get another one. Yeah, so if I pull this out, then it should start alerting. Yes, it does. Okay, so why is this not on? Have I not connected something? All right, let's go through and check logically. Okay, so we've got the that's connected. The power incoming, so we've got the power incoming, and that comes from there. That's the monitoring. Ground goes to there, and it goes to here. So the ground is connected. Let's check the voltage on. Turn up. Right, so let's check the voltage. Oh, let's turn it around. So let's get this ground. And then there. Oh, it keeps defaulting to low. Three point 
3.5 volts. Maybe that's not enough. Hmm. Maybe that's not enough. Um, let me plug. Let's plug the USB into here. And see what happens. I might have to change the limits. Oh, I think some calculations are wrong. Um, I don't know if you can read that because the voltage here says zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my calculation. Although, maybe it needs a voltage reference. I think I might need to set the voltage reference. Okay, let's plug this back in. There's a green on light. There we go. That's, oh, I'm using 1K resistors. So now this is on because the volt, this voltage is erroring, basically. So let me have a look. I think I must have done something wrong in the code. Okay, so you can probably notice that there are a few new parts. <laughs> good God, trying to get that voltage um, reference off of... Oh, good God. One moment. Always happens as soon as you hit record. Um, right, okay, so where's a pointy thing? Nope. Okay, so on uh, well, we're currently running off battery because the USB is not connected. Um, it has been charging a bit, so on the I don't you probably can't see that on the scope it's showing as three point nine four eight volts. And that's across the output here. Um, I've added my green light to the power light. I know it's on. This light will come on when the voltage reference or the voltage drops below three point oh god i can't remember now three point one no three point two uh, let me check i can't remember i think it's three point two uh, yeah three point two so when the voltage drops below three point two um it will basically turn this light on so i want to put this light into here somewhere so that just before it switches off, I know I should charge it. Um, it's got me. Oh God. One moment, I've just got to get rid of all my resistors. Right, okay, so uh, one thing I have done uh, is because it's uh, my research, well, looking through Google as much as I can, trying to figure out how to get a stable voltage reference with a variable input source so which is a lot more complicated than i would have thought but um well what i've ended up doing is this this little chip here uh is a tl um tl431 which is basically an adjustable voltage reference um but basically what I've done is I've just put the so the output here it's going through 10k resistor uh, then it goes to the output and that output of that TL831 goes to uh, the A0 voltage reference voltage monitoring pin uh, um, the current voltage that's incoming is 3.948 and this is measuring 4 volts. So, but I did notice that when I had this plugged in, which is, it was showing as 4.6 I think, but it was still showing 4 here. So, I'm going to monitor it to see if it's going to give me like a correct voltage. So, as the, the battery usage goes up, I've got it running every second just to basically increase the battery usage to make it die a bit quicker. Um, once that, once it dies, I just want to make sure 
that this voltage ref right reading here is at least correct within I don't know five percent either way doesn't need to be dead accurate but uh, it should be okay so we'll see what happens just gotta wait now <laughs> 